Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing a full face of NARS, NARS Cosmetics. NARS is definitely up there in the high-end brands. NARS is probably like the highest of the high-end brands before you get to like your luxury and designer brands like Dior and Tom Ford and all of that. The only products from NARS that I don't have are the mascara, a brow product, and I don't have a lip liner but I do have a lipstick so that's fine. But other than that, I do have enough products for a full face, so let's just get into it. So over the summer, I discovered the NARS Pure Radiant Tint and Moisturizer, and I freaking fell in love with it. It is so good. When NARS was offering Ulta employees an extra discount, I did pick up one in a lighter shade, which is medium one, but I also have the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, and this is in the shade Barcelona. This foundation shade, I feel, is a shade too dark and really, really yellow. I think that it might work a lot better, like, in the summertime for me, or kind of, like, transitioning into summertime, but I'm still gonna use it today. However, I am gonna mix it in a little bit with my tinted moisturizer because, like I said, it is so very full coverage. It is probably the most full coverage foundation I've actually ever tried. Oh yeah, that looks good. So sharing it out is definitely something that isn't a bad thing. And I'm definitely gonna still get a ton of coverage. It already feels like so much thinner on the skin than before because I feel like kind of before it ends up feeling like really thick and stuff on the skin. So any NARS training I've ever been to, like for my job, for my work, they always recommend applying the foundation with your fingers. NARS creates their products with the intentions that you are going to be using your fingers, like at least for the complexion products. I hate doing that. Like I hate applying my foundation with my fingers. It's just super not for me. I did notice though the finish when I just used the longwear foundation. When I did use my fingers, I felt like the finish came out a lot more natural looking than with like a brush or something, but I am just taking a sponge obviously. I just think that since I sheared it out, it should be okay and I actually love the finish of this right now. This looks so good. I am so freaking happy with how my skin is looking right now. Let me tell you, it was a rough few few months for me, honestly, with my skin, but I started using, and this was only a few days ago, but I did start using a newish line from Too Cool For School. It's called the Rules of Mastic line, and it's a really clean skincare line, and it's been working so well. I have noticed such a difference in, like, the glow and texture and just overall appearance of my skin since using that. So NARS has two concealers. Everybody knows the Radiant Creamy Concealer, but they also have the Soft Matte Concealer. My personal experience with this concealer right here, the Radiant Creamy one, I don't love it. It's really not a favorite of mine, and I wish it was because the way that people describe what they love about it just sounds like something that I personally would love so much. But there's something about this concealer I just can't get. It always looks a bit cakey underneath my eyes. It always ends up creasing and kind of looking very textured under there. And through the NARS training, they, you know, mention that that could happen. And the way to prevent that is to literally just use less, like use two dots or something like, like go in with a really, really light hand. And I've tried that and it still just does not work for me. But I recently tried the Soft Matte Concealer and I have the shade Medium 1.5 Macadamia and I quite like it. I am just overall a pretty big fan of potted concealers. Ever since Glossier kind of introduced me to a good potted concealer, I really enjoy them. This one by no means is similar to the Glossier concealer though. This definitely has a different finish, it has a little bit more coverage to it. I feel like if you don't like the Glossier Stretch Concealer, you might like this one instead though. It definitely has more, not like a flat matte, but it has more of like a radiant matte finish and it definitely has more coverage to it. By the way, I am using an IT Cosmetics concealer brush for this. So I applied just the majority of the concealer with the brush and now I'm just gonna go over everything with my sponge to make sure that everything is nice and blended. 
The rest of the products I am going to go in with will be powder products, so I am going to go ahead and set my face. To set my face, I'm going to be using the NARS Light Reflecting Pressed Powder. I've hit major pan on this guy. I discovered it last year, and I just adore this powder. It is like a perfect powder to use if you like aren't a powder person or maybe you love the finish of your foundation and you don't want like a powder to ruin that finish. I think that this powder does like an amazing job at kind of making sure that the natural glow from whatever makeup you're wearing underneath of it can shine through while still like actually setting your face. I'm going to take a little bit of the concealer and I'm going to use it to just prime my eyes just a little bit. I am going to be taking the Voyager eyeshadow palette and this is in Nectar. There's another one in Suede that has more cool tones but this is definitely me and an eyeshadow palette. It has like the most beautiful warm tones in this. The size of it is so small and sleek. It is just like a little perfect traveling eyeshadow palette. I'm first gonna take this shade right here and I'm just going to apply it in my crease. I had my eyes on this little eyeshadow palette for quite some time and I finally got it when NARS was offering the Ulta employees like a little bit of an extra discount. And that's like how I'm able to afford the products for sure because these are expensive. So if you are wanting some major discounts on some really nice brands, I highly recommend applying to Ulta. I freaking love my job there. I'm feeling really good right now. A new month is about to start tomorrow, so it'll be February. I'm actually going to start journaling in February. I want to kind of start a gratitude journal just to kind of remind me of all of the good things in my life. I'm going to take this shade right here, but I just feel like Kind of towards the end of January, I was focusing a lot on the bad or just things that were making me unhappy, things that were bringing like anxiety and whatever into my life. I kind of just want to take February to kind of just focus on the good stuff and keep that gratitude journal so that I can be reminded and reflect on all of the good things in my life so yeah I'm really excited to start that if any of you guys are interested in doing that with me freaking do it just grab a journal and start doing it I didn't go out and buy a new fancy journal if you are anything like me you already have a million freaking journals everywhere your first entry could literally be about how you are thankful that you already had a journal in your house and how maybe it saved on paper, it saved you a trip out. You kind of are just able to appreciate the journal itself for being there for you. I think that, you know, it sounds, I feel like it sounds kind of cheesy and I might like look back and be like, ooh, that's kind of cringy, but I mean, I don't know, you have to think about the little stuff sometimes when there's so much bad going around. And I definitely want to be more positive moving forward. I really love this sort of pinky shade right here, but I think I'm going to go in with this bronzy shade right here. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love how you can kind of see like the red tones and the gold tones in that shade. I think that's so pretty. I am going to take a little bit of this lighter shade right here. It has a little bit of sparkle to it. I just want to kind of press that into the eyelid to kind of give it some like pop. Hopefully you guys don't get bored of my eye looks because I feel like I do that same thing like literally in every full face video. It's always this like warm tone eye look but I mean it's what I like it's how I can gauge a brand you know if it has all my favorites in it and it's performing well then it's an A plus for me I'm going to take this smaller brush that I used the darker color with but I'm going to dip it into the lighter shade and I'm just going to dust that on my lower lash line and then I'm going to take that light shade and I'm going to pop it on the inner corner.
So that is what the eyes are looking like right now. I really love them. I think that this palette is so perfect. I am going to do my brows and my mascara off camera. NARS does have a mascara. It's the NARS Climax Mascara. I bought that last year, back in like December I think I bought it like a year ago. I used it one time. I remember I used it in my car before work and I got to work and I, you know, a few hours into my shift, it was all over my face. I asked my manager if I could go take a freaking break to literally just redo my whole face because it was a mess. Like I looked so horrible. It flaked so bad all over my face. It was chunky looking. It was super dry. But people love that mascara, so I'm wondering maybe if I just got a bad one. But yeah, just letting you know that my personal experience with the NARS Climax Mascara was not a pleasant one. So let's get some color back into my face. I am going to go in with the NARS Bronzer in Laguna. This is a very popular bronzer. Personally, I prefer my Becca Bronze Bondi. But I think that the NARS bronzer is still very flattering and I think it's very flattering on um, probably those of you with a lighter skin tone. I just think it's like a little bit too cool toned and a little bit too light for me. But it still blends out really, really beautifully. I think it still looks really nice on the skin. It kind of gives you more of like a very natural looking bronze. It's actually looking really good right now, considering I am probably like the palest I will get. Um, but I definitely like can't wear this bronzer in the summertime. I feel like it doesn't really show up at all. But like I said, it just blends into the skin really nicely. I'm using this new brush from Real Techniques. This is the Light Layer Powder Brush. I tried using this for a cream just because it kind of had that like duo fiber look to it. But it really wasn't working for cream. But this is my first time using it for powder and this is so pretty. I just like want to keep layering it on. So if you know me, you know that I like to apply my highlighter before my blush. I am using the NARS Fort de France highlighter. Do I say that okay? Fort de France? Fort de I could say Fort de France, but I just feel like I know that that's wrong. So yeah, this highlighter is definitely up there in my favorite highlighters. I just think it's so beautiful, so smooth. It's not like a super natural looking highlight, but it's still, it like kind of melts into the skin almost. It's really, really pretty. I think I just applied a little bit too much on that side. I'm going to hit my brow bone with it real quick. So I am going to go in with Dulce Vita. Don't let the color of this deceive you because this is actually so pigmented. You need to go in with the lightest hand. You need to really be careful like layer don't just like go in all at once because oh my god like you could literally look like you just got punched in like two seconds because this blush is so pigmented so i have two lipsticks from nars uh one is dulce vita dulce vita went in the washing machine one time and then i have one in Piga pigal Pigal. So those are what the two lipstick shades look like next to each other. That one is Dulce Vita and that one is Pigal. I think I want to go in with Dulce Vita today. I usually would pair Dulce Vita with a lip liner, but I don't have a lip liner from NARS. They don't have like my perfect pinky brown nude lip liner, so I just never picked one up. I think Dulce Vita would be one of those lipstick shades that looks different on everybody, and I think it flatters a lot of different skin tones. I usually recommend it to people who come in and they're wanting like a my lips but better kind of shade, something that's going to be quite hydrating and glossy but long wearing. This is usually the shade I recommend to people. So what do we think? Do we like this full face of NARS? 
I really like it. I think everything looks really good and flattering and blended and just beautiful. Literally every single product on my face right now is exactly the way that I would want it to look. It just looks so good. I actually loved the combination of mixing these two, which is something that I'm probably going to continue doing. I think the finish of it is just amazing, and I know that both of these products wear really well throughout the day, so I am confident in this combination. I think the cheek products look amazing, the eyes look really good. I love that little eyeshadow palette so much and the lips look really awesome as well. That is going to be it for me today though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your thoughts are down below on this full face of NARS. Let me know if there's any other brands you would like to see a full face from in the future. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so, and hopefully I see you next time.